You loved the experience, didn't you? I thought it was the best thing I've ever done. I don't think I'd want to go back this year, but no. I had a lovely time. Well, it was very, it was quite uh, sort of harmonious. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but you're saying that before it started, and you've got a WhatsApp group, and you're all chatting. Yeah. You didn't really want to watch. We were a bit nervous because obviously that's our home, and that was like you know that was our thing, and there was new people going in there. But now it's all started. We're we're addicted, all of yeah, us. Yeah, no, exactly. I yes. absolutely love it. Let's just about your time in there because obviously you and you and Nathan coupled up, but mm -hmm. day one, and you were together the whole way through. I and know. did that help having him in that experience? Because I imagine at times that it can be quite lonely in there. Um, yeah, I think to be honest, we did have a bit of an easy ride because we were fortunate enough that we both met someone that we liked and. We had no worries, where a lot yeah. of people, they get mugged off and they mm. get this and they get that, where we were just You happy. were properly we together, yeah, time. you really were, all the way through. What's the weirdest thing about being in there when you were in there? The fact that you have no idea that people are watching you, because we went in, obviously you go into hiding, so you have no idea what the public so, is seeing, the build-up, the reaction, and you have bombshells come in and they're like, oh my God, it's, it's really big outside, and you're like, no, it's not. You have you have no concept of what's oh, going what's on going outside. Do you forget theater. you're on the telly? Yeah, totally. Which is why what occasionally happens happens. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's because um, Zara, who was um, Miss, Miss Great Britain, she she's been in the paper today talking about that. She said that that moment of having sex on TV will haunt her forever, and she says that she would definitely do something differently. Was that something that that you talked about in there, or that you were worried about, you were concerned about? Did any of the girls feel mm. under pressure and? Not to do that? No, I don't think anyone was under pressure. You know, in a relationship, there's certain things that you do and you don't. I, I can't talk for everyone, but me and Nathan, we were together, we had a relationship and mm. we did love each other. So well, that, yeah. that relationship Part obviously uh, start, started there. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then you continued it Outside. out of the house, which is lovely. Um, and so, uh, so how was that for the two of you when you came out of, the, of, uh, of Love Island. Looking back on it now, my main bit of advice for everyone is when you come out, don't rush things, mm. because you think that you know each other so well, and we jumped in head first, lived together, you know, we've still got so much love for each other, but everything happened so quickly, and I think it ruined it. So you wish you'd done maybe a little bit more traditional yeah. dating, um, yeah. and, and doing that sort of thing before you before yeah, you Yeah, I think that would have saved us, and then would it? moved in a lot later. Because too much. This love story, I mean, the, where, where one part of it ends, another part really is just beginning yeah. because you are, <laughs> you are pregnant. I am. Were, were you were you together when you found out? I was just so you were you were together yeah, then, we and it was together. just shortly after. Yeah. Um, it was a shock for you. A massive. I was actually in hospital having um, a cervical examination. Yeah. And then I found out I was pregnant, so I didn't go in to find that. Mm. So um, yeah, that was a shock. So, so how, how is this going to work between the two of you? Where. Now, then? Really good. We're constantly in contact, you know. He knows everything that he needs to know. I'm having time with my family. He's having time with his, but how we're very much involved. How did involved. he take the news? He was very shocked, just the same as I was, and, you know, we tried to make it work, but sometimes it's better for the baby not was... to be in that volatile relationship. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was, only, it was only, I think, about two weeks after yeah. you found out that he was a dad that, that you called a day. Yeah. But I, I think sometimes you, you can try things for the sake of a baby, and, you it's know, not... there's, there's nothing to say in the future, but just at the moment, mm. we don't need that stress. Would anymore. you like, in the future, would you like things to work of out. Of course. Yeah. You know, it'd be lovely to have a little family and yeah. look back and show oh, our kids really where wouldn't... we met. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, no, exactly. Your mum and dad. And... <laughs> Would you show the kids where you met? Yeah, because it's important to them, even if we're not together, to go, do you know what, your mum and dad did love each other. Yeah. And, and you they will love see each that. Other, and too. they'll see that we, they was born, they was made in love. That's true. You know, That's very true. You can't now. deny that. That's for sure. And what about? Uh, no, I think it's sweet. It's so lovely. <laughs> and you're going to make her cry in a moment. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and, and and how about you? Because uh, because the, the impending motherhood. Mm -hmm. Are you all? You got a nice support network around I've got you. Great friends. Great family. Nathan's family's there. He's there for me. So, yeah, if we couldn't have a better setup how things are at the moment once once the baby arrives mm -hmm. i mean if you want to get back into work when the time is right and if, yeah. you, if, you, if that's what you fancy um there the were rumors of towie maybe <laughs> obviously they're on holiday at the moment aren't they they're all mm -hmm. gone of jetted off everywhere so to watch this space. There's room for a little yummy mummy, isn't there? So, I would say so. Wow. You never know. It's going to get everyone talking. <laughs> <laughs> sure.